One criterion is, of course, ethical behavior. An enlightened one is not bound by ethical behavior, but generally an enlightened person would not be unethical. So if you see unethical behavior, immoral behavior, whatever that person is, is probably not very spiritual, let alone being enlightened. A good uh, sign Sri Ramakrishna has given, Jake Dekle Ishore Uddipan Hai. You feel um, you feel appraised, you feel purified, you feel sublime in the in the company of such people. And this many many of us have noted. Very few highly spiritual people I have met in my life, I've seen absolutely always it is the case that people around them they feel it. How do they feel? They feel purified. Negativities diminish. You feel peace. You feel acceptance. You feel joy. A kind of very pure, luminous joy you feel. Higher life becomes real. Worldly life sort of fades to the background. A, a holy place, like a pilgrimage can do that to you. And a holy person can do that to you. An enlightened person. Um, more powerful they are, the more deep that effect is. I have seen a number of cases. For example, I have seen Swami Bhuteshananda Ji, 12th President of our Order, coming to an ashram. I saw the before and after. It's an ashram, a holy place. Yet it seems suddenly everything is lit up. Not physically. Somewhere, somehow. Everybody is in a state of joy because of his presence. And every day, everybody wants to finish their daily task and routine, just go to sit in his presence. After all, he's a 95, 96 year old man. Yeah. What 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 are you getting from this little old man? But you sit there, everybody's rushing like they are all attracted, like honeybees to the flower. Yeah. That un unexplained attraction. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again and again, I have seen crowds of people just gathering to look at him. Yeah. So, what is it that attraction that shows? Um, some kind of, uh, that shows enlightenment. And you can see it more ex extraordinarily, of course, in the case of avatars. Uh, you have, we read of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Puri, in Jagannath Shetra, in Puri. What extraordinary depictions, and they're so vivid, they must be depictions by people who were there. Kirtan, singing and dancing is going on at, at night, and the whole crowd around they're playing the drums and cymbals and you know, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, they're singing. In between them is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in, uh, in ecstasy. He's not aware of the external world and only half aware. And, therefore, and he's singing to the uh, song and dancing. And the beautiful description of people holding up these flaming, these firebrands, this mashal and uh, lamps. They're holding it up so that they can get a glimpse of his face. And this huge crowd is entranced. See, we can't see God, but he, here is one who is literally seeing God right at this moment. And it's, it's, it's expressed in his face. That, that's what stuns all of us. Sri Ramakrishna, he went to, to, back to the village and he said, he says, Mahamaya Bhelki Lagi Desh is a magic show of the, um, of the Divine Mother. He had no rest for days on end. Wherever he goes, crowds of people gather around to look at him. And they, he says in Bengali, Taguti Taguti, that means the play of the drums. Everywhere you go, groups of musicians arrive and they want to sing and dance with him, take the name of God. And he can't sleep at night. People pressing all around. Similar ex example is there of Swami Premananda, Baburam Maharaj, who was the manager of Pelurmat, a direct disciple of Sri Ramakrishna. Um, he was an extraordinary spiritual. When he passed, uh, Holy Mother Masharada, she burst into tears and said, My Baburam was a light on the bank of the Ganga. He was li light up the grounds of Belurmat. Because she lived on the other bank. And she felt his presence as a light shining on the other side of the river. And he has gone out. That light has gone out now. But there's a description of Sri Ramakrishna's birthday. Swami Premananda is in charge of all the festivities. Uh, crowds of people coming, musicians, they rush towards him and surround him and they sing and he just stands in silence or in ecstasy, but they're seeing him. There's this particular thing, a small description which I, I found unforgettable. In the afternoon, 
with all this pressure you know in the afternoon he wants to take a break the famous indian afternoon siesta so he goes to this place which is called the visitors room it's still there in belur mat now it has got many windows all around so he goes and he wants to take a nap there and all the windows are thick with people who are looking down at him just to see his face while he's sleeping what is that attraction it's the attraction of god and it's a, it's something that we are feeling all the time whatever we do in life so i vivekananda says in bhakti yoga whatever we do in life do you not see that one force behind all the good in this life the love of the mother for the child the 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 love of the greedy man for his money uh, the love of the um, the politician the ambition for success and power in the world and the the, the tremendous urge for um, you know scientific discovery among a, a researcher uh, the the uh, you know the tendency of the the writer the artist for artistic expression pouring themselves out so i vivek and says it's one force and it at its higher end it is the saint um you know searching for god which is the one force everywhere playing in all human beings in all civilizations in all life itself that is general but when it becomes very specific when that which all of this is searching for god when that god becomes even indirectly manifest to us in the face of somebody who is seeing god imagine the attraction we will have i remember there was this swami pavanananda ji in this was about nearly 30 years ago um in deoghar i remember the, in, the, in the evening he was a disciple of swami shivananda and he was an irishman um in his old age nearly 90 years at that time in the evening after the arati was over he would go to his room i would you know accompany him hold his hand and slowly take him there before he would leave the temple he would turn around and bow down to sri ramakrishna i still remember the first time i saw him do it i was walking towards him he was facing he was going down but before he left the temple he turned around facing me looking over my shoulder at the pictures at the uh, Im- images on the altar i tell you every hair on my body rose yeah. literally it's as if he was seeing this divine presence i whip my head around to see what he was looking at he was just looking at the pictures but i'm sure he was not seeing what i was seeing i was seeing the pictures of sri ramakrishna but he was seeing a living presence now what i'm saying is just the expression on his face how is it that 30 years later i it is most vivid i close my eyes instantly it is there it is a reflection indirectly here is a person i believe seeing god and i'm seeing the expression on his face it's unforgettable i'm you know in this life if nothing happens i've seen those things yeah. i know another monk like that who was a disciple again a disciple of swami shivananda nirmuktanand who lived for more than 100 years i used to talk to him upen maharaj another monk a senior monk he to- she saw me talking with this old upen maharaj nirmuktanand ji and he said and this other senior monk who told me was a very accomplished is a is a very accomplished man lot of things he has done in his life he said you know for all i have done in my life um he said i i am um i had considered myself fortunate to roll on the dust on which this old monk has walked mm. that's my stature compared to him and i understand his feeling so this is the feeling you get when you come near a person let alone avatar such persons who probably are highly spiritually advanced i don't know who is enlightened or not this is just to illustrate sri ramakrishna saying that ishwar uh, udipan hai you get the feeling of the presence of god in the present when you are with such people that's a good indicator again all indirect indicators <laughs>